How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over another interview question. Today our interview question is from Apple. Again, it's from Leak Code and our question is called Split a String and Balance Strings. Yes, yes, guess who's on third? Lupe still like loop in the third. Here like here till I'm bitter on the curb. Peach fuzz buzz but bit on the verb. All right, guys, so today our question is from Apple. It's called Split a String and Balance Strings, and our problem description says, Balance strings are those who have equal quantity of L and R characters. Given a balance string S, split it in the maximum amount of balance strings. Return the maximum amount of balanced... Return the maximum amount of splitted balance strings. Uh, Lee code's kind of weird sometimes with their descriptions, but they just want us to return the maximum amount of split balance strings, I'm guessing. Uh, and so what this is saying this problem, right, is that we're given some string, our string seemingly will only contain L and R characters, we're basically asked to return the maximum amount of balanced strings that we can make from this one balanced string, and a balanced string in this problem is just uh, any string, or any substring I should say really, that contains an equal number of L characters and R characters. Okay, so let's go through our first example if that doesn't make sense. So if we're given this string here, right, we would output four, and the reason for that is because our initial balance string S can be split into four balance strings. The first balance string would be RL, the second balance string would be RRLL, the third balance string would be RL, and the fourth balance string again would be another RL. So let's kind of trace through how this is happening with this example, right? So our first balance string is RL. So we see that right here. First we take an R, we don't have a balance string yet because we need one L character to make it balanced. We find that L character, great, we're gonna take that, push it aside, that's one balanced string. Now we're gonna do the same thing, right, just repeating the same process. So now we are starting here on the third character. We see an R, great, it's not balanced. We see another R, it's still not balanced. We see an L, we're almost balanced. We see another L, great, that checks out. Now we have a balanced string. So again, we could just push that aside and start over. Same thing happens, right? We see an R, great, we see an L, it's balanced. Push it aside, R, not balanced, L, balanced, great done, output for, that's all there is to it. Um, so I think you can kind of see what's happening hopefully by me moving my cursor and highlighting those characters. But what we effectively really want to do with this problem is we want to greedily try and take balanced strings. And what I mean by that is any time that we find a balanced string, we want to take that balanced string, push it aside and count it, and then start trying to find the next balanced string. And the reason why this is a greedy approach is because we're asked we're asked to return the maximum amount of balanced strings that we could possibly have. So we wanna make sure that we're greedily trying to create balanced strings. So now let's go through a second example here. If this was our string, we could split S into these three balanced strings, right? RL, which appears right at the beginning. We have an R, not balanced. We see an L, now it's balanced. Take it, push it aside. Then we see three Ls, three Rs. That's balanced now. L, R, balanced, done, right? So hopefully this is making sense. Uh, and all this really is going to boil down to is we need a number to return, right? The maximum number of balanced strings that we can create. And then we also need a count that will just count the individual strings that we're going through and knowing to help us know if like we actually have more L characters or, or R characters in the, the string that we're in or if they're equal, right? So that's really all this is going to boil down to. We're going to walk through the string. We're going to try and somehow like create this return value. That's the maximum number of strings that are balanced in our string. Um, and every single time we walk through characters, we just need to keep track of how many L characters we have and how many R characters. And if we ever have an equal amount, right, then we could actually just increment whatever we're going to return. So let's try and get that logic down here. So the first thing we can do is just re return, or sorry, create or initialize a variable to return. And what we want to return is our maximum uh, amount of balanced strings that we could have, right? So I'm going to say int balance count equals zero because initially we were just gonna say we have no balanced strings. Uh, and then the other thing we need is just a count in general, right? And this count is gonna keep, keep track of all the L's and the R's that we have in our current string uh, that we're walking through and tell us whether or not we have an equal number of L and R characters. So I'm gonna say int count equals zero. And now we're just gonna walk through our string S. So four int I equals zero, well I is less than S dot length, I plus plus. Great, so now, Super easy thing to do is just get the first character that we're on, right? So I'm gonna say character current equals s dot care at i. And now we want to do something to account for the logic of counting however many L's and R's we have. 
right? So let's just make L positive and R negative. So if we ever see an L, we're gonna increment our count. And if we ever see an R, we're gonna decrement our count or decrement our count. So if we ever get to a point where our count is zero, then we've actually found a balanced string and we can count it. So we're gonna say if our current is equal to L, we're gonna say count plus plus, and else if our current is equal to R, we're gonna say count minus minus. Great, so now that just means that we're gonna walk through all these different characters in S, and we're gonna increment the count when we see an L, and we're gonna decrement the count when we see an R. And now if our count is ever zero, then that means that we have an equal amount of L and R's in whatever string that we're walking through. So we could say our balance count just went up by one. And so now when this loop finishes, right, when we walk through all the characters in our string, hopefully we will have greedily taken all those different balanced strings that we could have found. And so all we have to do now is return our balanced count. And so now just to talk about our runtime very quickly, it's pretty obvious here that our runtime is just gonna be O of N, right? N being the number of characters in our string S. Just because we have one loop, it's gonna go through our entire string once. And that's really it, right? We're not doing anything else after that. In terms of our space complexity, we just declared a couple variables that are just gonna increment and decrement. Um, so that's not really anything either. So we could say that that's constant memory uh, or O of one memory. And that's pretty much it. So let's run this, let's make sure that it works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve split a string and balance strings. Again, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, yes, guess who's on third? Lupe still like loop in the third. Here like here till I'm bitter on the curb. Peach fuzz buzz, but bit on the verge. Let's slow it down like we're on the serve. Bottle shaped body like Mrs. Butterworth. But before you say it,